Hi all, welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the IPS symbols for consonants. If you want to learn about the IPS symbols for vowels, so the link to the video is in the description box. Here, I'm going to tell you only about the symbols of consonants. IPA means International Phonetic Symbols. We need IPA symbols to read the correct pronunciation of words. You must have seen this type of transcript written in dictionaries. Whenever you search for a word, for example, if you are searching the word bad, so beside bad, you find something written like this. So this is the IPA transcript, okay? International phonetic transcript. So if you are a learner of any foreign language, you should know the IPA symbols for that language. In English, we also have these symbols. And today's video is all about the IPA symbols for consonants. So here are 21 consonants. Why I'm saying 21 but written 20 here? Because C and K are two consonants having the same sound. So if you count them two, then they will be 21 and the five vowels. So the total number of letters is 26, right? Let's get us started. It's something quite simple. So the IPA symbol for letter B is simply the lowercase b. The word that is written is B. A, D, bad. This is the short A symbol, okay? C and K both have the same symbol. That is letter K because C can also say K and sound. So whenever the word is pronouncing the K sound, we need to write it with letter K. K, A, T, cat. Again, the short A sound, cat. For D, we have simple D. D, this is the short A sound, okay? D, E, D did for letter f the symbol is the same this is f sound and this is the vowel sound a f a a fall g for g this is g g a t got this is the short a sound got letter h the symbol is similar to the lowercase h this is again a the short a sound h, a t hot for J, we have something a little different. This is the symbol for J. For uh, we write D and Z together to sound J, A, M, Jam. Letter L will also be same like this. A, E, P, Lip. This is the short A sound. M will be M, M, O, P, Mop. Short O sound. N, it will be same like N, lowercase N, A, T, Net. This is the phonetic symbol for short a sound, okay? The sh uh, short sound of vowel E. Then P for P, it is the same like this. P, A, T, Pat. Qua, because they are two uh, letters together, so we have the phonetic symbol like this. K and W together. It's Qua, A, K, Quack. The sound of the duck. Quack. Then we have R, same. R, A. Uh, Mm, this is a uh, the short u sound run for s this is a uh, mm, sun then we have letter t that has a symbol like this t a uh, b tab v has the same symbol like the lowercase v v a t vet w has same symbol like the, uh, lowercase w it's wo a uh, uh, wall this is a uh, sound for X, it is the mixture of two sound that is k and s. So we write it like this k and s together. B o x box. This is x box. For Y, we write letter J here. J represents the y sound, consonant sound of letter Y, y. So it is y, a, s, yes. For Z, we have z here, and this is the long u sound. Z, U, Zu. So this is it. As you have seen that uh, the consonant symbol for the single letter consonants are so simple except for J. We have something different for Q, for X and for Y. They are a little different. Otherwise, all of the consonants have the same phonetic symbols as they have their lowercase letters. But there are some other consonant sounds too the digraphs now it's time to give you the phonetic symbols for digraphs so this is the digraph sh and this is how we write it in the ipa form sh 
the long e sound e sh e she this is ch this is how we write it and this is ch e p chip the short a e sound it is written here now th have two pronunciations one is the voiced one that is the as in the is this and the other is the unvoiced it's th as in th a n k think in india and pakistan we also say it as the and it, this one as th so this is this and this is a uh, thing now we have the ng digraph it is again something that the native speakers say better is the n sound and this is how we write it it's ring the g sound is not very prominent when it is with n okay we find s and i together in many words like vision like television and we are saying with the j sound so this is how the j sound is written in dictionaries if you know this symbol you can understand that s i together is saying the j sound the word is v a v and j and this is schwa and n jen vision written right here okay there is one more thing that i would like to mention that is the long u sound letter u has two long sounds the first is u and the other is u so the u sound is not the vowel sound that's why i did not tell uh, this sound in the previous video of vowels so today i'm giving you the u sound and how do we write it so here is how we write the long u sound if you want to write unicorn in ipa transcript so it would be like this this is u then n and short a uni and k on unicorn i'm not pronouncing r here because in british english we do not say the r sound after a vowel unicorn okay this uh, letter j is representing the letter y sound that is here and then this is the long u sound together they make u so this is the end of our today's video hope you have got something useful from it if yes so please hit the like button if haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel i shall see you soon with something new take care bye for now and don't forget to make it a great day bye